Info guys, so today we're talking about the new Transformers movie's box office. And the movie has made $3.46 million in first day previews. Fortunately for this movie, the budget is pretty small. $35 million, which means... If Transformers 1 has good rigs, it will definitely, you know, make back its money. Okay, this is not a $200 million movie like the last one. The movie costed very little money to make. And it's only opening between 30 to 40 million. But again, Spider-Verse also only opened to 30 to 40 million. And that movie managed to make a huge amount of money. But we'll wait to see how it performs in the next couple of weeks. And that's also could be for another movie about a robot. Which is called The Wild Robot. That That's going to be its main, main battle. Not against Joker 2, but The Wild Robot is this movie's going to be this movie's main competition, obviously. As there, there has been a drought for more animated movies. But I think finally, Hollywood's starting to see that animation is not just for kids. Transformers 1 is for everyone. Okay. Yeah, the movie... You know, so we're all to a problem thanks to its positive reviews and well new take on the fan favorite IP. If this movie is successful, we'll likely see a sequel that'll probably even be bigger than the first movie. And people will pretend to forget that anime movies typically usually have good legs at the box office. Garfield did, Inside Out 2 did, the Spickle will be 4 did as well. All three movies. You know, anime movies typically have lower openings than live action movies. But anime movies typically have the better legs than live action movies. So the family friendly movie directed by Josh Hawley. So it's kind of like Spider-Verse. Spider-Verse is a more serious animated movie. Okay. That's why that's why Spider-Verse was so popular. Okay, the first and second movie. Okay, Spider-Verse was a serious movie. It was not a, you know, funny, you know, kid friendly movie. You know, that you know uh, that parents like ugh. It is a movie that both kids and adults can get to. And Transformers is an IP. Yes, it's not going to be rated PG-14 because it's not my vaccine, obviously. Because, you know, I think the reason why those movies are rated PG-14 is they figure Spider-Man's because those movies are my vaccine. Well, in animation, they can really, you know, get or don't have to get away with a lot of things. They get away with way more for a movie being PG, obviously, as well. You can still have the same action, same fight scenes. For example, Dragon Ball Super Boy is actually rated PG. Not PG-13, PG. And that movie was wonderful, Spider-Verse was, okay. I still hope one day we make a PG-13 anime movie, but the only difference is that a PG-13 anime movie characters can swell. That's really the only difference. Okay, and maybe you can have some more, like, more edgier, you know, storytelling. Especially our rated movies. I think the only reason, the only way to make an hour movie, you want the characters, like, to say F-word and stuff. Or have, you know, but again, you can have an animated movie appeal towards everybody. You know, for example, Dragon Ball can appeal towards everybody. The original Dragon Ball Z, so, you know, definitely appeals towards everybody. The original Dragon Ball so I think, it's a, you know, had some way out there humor. But Dragon Ball Z, I think they did, you know, I think Toriyama realized that he can't have, you know, Goku constantly naked all the time. Okay, you know, like in the original so, but, you know... This is a Transformers movie that a lot of people, I think, are going to like. And I think Transformers are trying to redeem the franchise from the Michael Bay era. of Because this is a franchise that has been hurt. Okay. This is what this is what's going to happen to Star Wars. Okay. You know, despite, you know, even if the Star Wars movies have good reviews or heavily praised, the movies will not have very good openings because Star Wars was ruined by Disney. Okay, Transformers already experienced that by Michael Bay's Transformers movies. You can either like or hate the Michael Bay Transformers movies, but there's no, within a doubt, that tr- Michael Bay harmed this franchise with the role box offices of Bumblebee, Transformers, Rise of the Beasts, and Transformers 1. Despite them all being good movies, I haven't seen Transformers 1, but despite all these movies being good movies, the movies are not doing as good as the Michael Bay movies. This is a very, I think this is a very big warning sign for Disney and Star Wars coming forward. Because Disney has lost a lot of goodwill with Star Wars, okay? You know, these movies 
Transformers, if it wasn't for Michael Bay, this movie would be performing very greatly, okay? Because, oh my god, the new Transformers, but a lot of people are still wary of the Transformers IP and the Transformers franchise because of this, okay? And Michael Bay didn't inject, but the thing the difference is Michael Bay didn't inject wokeness into my Transformers, okay? The thing with Disney is that they injected woke identity politics into Star Wars that no one asked for. And you saw the decline of Star Wars. You, you know, people thought, oh yeah, Star Wars is on the comeback. The Mandalorian is successful. I think the Mandalorian will probably be successful. But what about outside of the Mandalorian? Okay. What about outside of that? Because the Mandalorian, they're kind of playing that safe, obviously. But what about outside the Mandalorian? Okay. How, how can Disney make another Star Wars trilogy successful? Okay. Without pissing off a majority of the fan base. Okay. You know... I think what Paramount is doing with Transformers is the best they can possibly do. Try to bring back the goodwill with the fan base and make them happy. You know, make, you know, try to bring back that storytelling that people loved in the older Transformers cartoons and movies. Okay? People loved the universe of Transformers. That's why it became so popular to begin with. Okay? Even like the first couple, the first Transformers movie released in like 2007. A lot of people like that movie. But once that says the movies get, became more and more divisive, it became more and more nonsensical, like Star Wars. People stopped watching. People stopped caring. Okay? I think the Transformers movie, both four Transformers movies by Michael Bay are fun movies. They do, so they do drag on too much. I do agree with that point. They do drag on too much. They're not the, they're not the best fun movies, obviously. But... They're still better than Disney Star Wars. They're still better than, you know, watching Disney Star Wars. Disney Star Wars. You know, it's just, you know, it's, you know, I think the difference between Michael Bay's Transformers and Disney Star Wars, yes, we're making this video comparison between this now and Disney Star Wars, is that Disney Star Wars is woke and Michael Bay Transformers is entertainment. Okay, you can either like or hate it, but Disney Star Wars really pissed off half the country and then pissed off most of the Star Wars fandom. Okay, even young people, like, I watched all the Star Wars movies, where I got all the Star Wars movies, I watched them from the first movie, which I know it's Sacramento Sin right there, the first movie was called Phantom Menace, and 1 through 6 were phenomenal movies, okay, the characters were great, the storytelling was great, but once we got to the sequel trilogy, you know, and of course I had to get Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, to complete the correction, to complete the series, once they called the Disney Star Wars, the storytelling took a nosedive. The characters became boring. They became bland. They became forgettable. Okay? And I think that's the problem Transformers had. Okay? There wasn't... A lot of people thought those movies were boring or bland. And, 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 but I think it's with Disney Star Wars is even worse because Star Wars is one of the most successful and profitable franchises out there. Okay? Star Wars, they Disney really killed that franchise. Okay, I don't think many people are really happy to be a Star Wars fan in this day and age. Okay, and whenever they say they like Star Wars, it's either gonna be the prequels or the original trilogy. No, and some people even say the Clone Wars, but no one. I can't admit one person like the sequel trilogy, but one way, but no one will say the Disney Star Wars. Some will say the Mandalorian. But no one will say the sequel trilogy and anything related to that. So the Acolyte, you know, that Obi-Wan saw that no one liked, okay? And it just seems that, that you know, Disney really killed that franchise. And I think of Marvel, Disney is trying to avoid the pitfalls with Disney Star Wars. They're course correcting on Marvel because if they lose Marvel, Disney is done at the box office. You know, they can have their, they will have their successful anime movies every once in a while. But without Marvel, Disney will not be the juggernaut it was at the box office. Marvel is the sole reason Disney was so successful at the box office. Okay, Marvel was the sole reason Disney had sell all the highest grossing movies at the box office. If they lose Marvel, if they lose the Marvel fan base, that is a big L for Disney. And they, you know, with Deadpool Wolverine, it shows that the Marvel fan base still exists. People are still going to see Marvel movies if the movie is good. Okay? So, with, you know, Star Wars... Disney doesn't want Star Wars to become like Transformers is now. Okay? 
an IP that people are cautious of, that people will avoid, an IP or a brand that people will avoid because so much damage has been done to it. But I think with Star Wars, it may be too late. Okay, with a batch of horrible souls that no one liked, how badly the sequel trilogy was brought out and used. And, you know, it's just how poor, and especially with the Acolyte. A lot of people hated the Acolyte. No one liked it, okay? So much when they tried to get people banned off of YouTube for disliking it. Yes, literally, they tried to get people banned off of YouTube for disliking it. But of course, YouTube probably said, you know what? You know what, Disney fanboys? Star Wars, you know, Disney Star Wars fanboys, that the five of you that exist. They have a right to dislike its TV so They have a dis- right to dislike a movie and could criticize it however they like. Okay? You know, maybe not using, like, you know, really bad words, but people have a, people have a right to criticize the Disney Star Wars movie. People have a right to make memes making fun of it. Okay? People of all backgrounds didn't like the Acolyte. Okay, Star Wars was a global franchise. It was a franchise, you know, that was made for a global audience. It's popular in Europe. It's popular in America. It's popular in Mexico. It's popular in Japan. Okay, it's popular in Australia, New Zealand. Star Wars is popular everywhere, except for China, obviously. But that's because Chinese, the Chinese rejected the sequel Star Wars trilogy. That's what really happened. The last that I said so poor in China, I think also... You know, the, the Rise of Skywalker did even worse. It did so poor that they just got out of the box office as quickly as possible. That's how poor the Rise of Skywalker did in China. But hopefully Disney gets, a, gets to see a lesson from the Transformers franchise. You cannot take a franchise and rule and make people hate it. Okay? Transformers, it's going to take a while for Transformers to truly recover from the damage Michael Bay did to the franchise. Well, if you like the Michael Bay movies or not, it's going to take a while for Transformers to recover from the damage Michael Bay has done for it. Because I know Paramount knows that these Transformers movies could be successful. But the problem is they have to win back the fans, which is going to take a while. Okay, And Star Wars might be in the same position as well. So what do you think about this? Transformers 1? Could it make money? Could it not? And what does Disney have to warn? From the failures of the last couple of Transformers movies. Goodbye.